Hey guys, it's Naples and welcome to a little uh, tutorial or guide on how to install Cinematic Mod together with MMod for Half-Life 2, including Half-Life 2 Episode 1 and Episode 2. Uh, I will also show you how to make the character pimper working with these two mods. There were lots of questions uh, from viewers um, how to get this working. So yeah, I thought why not make a short little video about it. Remember, this is how I did it on my PC, so it may not work on your computer or maybe it will work a bit differently. So use at your own risk. As with any game, if you use mods, it's always on your own risk. And if you have no idea what cinematic mod or M mod is, let me just show you a quick comparison between the standard base game Half-Life 2 and one with these two mods enabled. Okay, Funny, you showing up here we on are. This, day in particular. this is the base game, Half-Life 2. As you can see, it's all normal. We've been helping people escape the city on foot. Everything is the way we know it's it. It's a dangerous route to my father's lab, through the old canals. Today, we're finally on the verge of having a better can way. Can you move? I want to show the people something. <laughs> here, let me buy you a drink. Yeah, just showing you the area. And now let's jump into it with oh, the mods the way, enabled. Nice to finally meet you. Yeah, you too. Funny you and here we are with cinematic mod and M mod enabled. As you can see, it's already a bit different. But here comes the bigger difference. We've been helping people escape the city on foot. It's a dangerous route to my father's As you can see, lab, it looks pretty cool pretty amazing we're finally on the verge of having a better way <laughs> here everything has changed drink. as you can see it's totally different so yeah that's what cinematic mod does and mod changes oh, a few other way. things a few that's visual things idea. and the weapons are different i will show you show you that later so yeah that is basically it Gives the game a completely new look. I personally kind of like it. It gives the already cool game yeah, a bit of a new feel. To everyone's own taste, I like it. So let's quit the game and I will show you how I installed the games, uh, the mods. Okay, so here we have all my folders that I had. Uh, you can ignore these two, that's a different mod for Half-Life 2. Um, this is the full version that I downloaded, 1.2, easy, double click this and it will install a uh, cinematic mod. On my computer it took about half an hour, something like that. I have an old computer and it's installed on a old style uh, hard drive, so not, an, not a SSD. Once that is done installing, you can install the updater to 1.24. Takes a few minutes only. And after that, you can do update 1.25. It's just a few files that you have to copy into the main cinematic mod folder. And you're done. Once that is installed, you can do the M mod. It's basically very simple all you have to do is copy these all these folders into source mods directory which is located in your steam apps uh, directory i will show you in a second as you can see over here how to install known issues please do a clean install etc etc as you can see over here i am in the steam steam apps folder over here is source mods as you can see, I already copied everything. Yeah, that's just it. Copy those folders to this uh, folder, source mods, and you're done with installing mmod. Make sure um, when you install these mods, you have at least started the game once. Uh, that goes for Half-Life 2, Half-Life 2 Episode 1 and Episode 2. Maybe to be sure, also play the game I don't know, maybe a minute or something, whatever. Just make sure that it started up at least once. And also, the mods and the games 
must be installed on the same hard drive, otherwise it will give problems. It's also in one of these um, help texts from Mmod. The um, where is it? How to install known issues? Please read me before installing. Yeah, how if you did everything correct? Here, the support uh, for cinematic mod is highly experimental, so expect random crashes. So yeah, that's a possibility. I've played the game completely with both mods, and I think I only had one crash, or maybe not even one. I don't know. So yeah, like I said earlier, it's different per PC, and for each user it's different. Alright, well that's quite easy, of course, to install those two mods. Uh, most questions I had were about the character pimper. So start it up. And it brings you into this screen. Can I make it bigger? Alright, whatever, like this. Intro, Eli's Lab. These are for Alex, Half-Life 2. Episode 1, Episode 2, Intro, Eli's Lab, Nova Prospect, City 17 Plaza, and the Citadel. As you can see, for each one of these, you can give Alex a different look. There are quite a few. This is the original Valve model. And there's a few choices that you can pick from. So yeah, let's go ahead and... I don't know, just use this one, the first one, whatever. Just click it. Install. Yes. And that's it. It's installed. Make sure you do that for every model that you want. So if you want in Eli's lab to be a different model, you can do that. I don't know, maybe after going from almost naked to some, I don't know, Metal Gear looking outfit. Click that one. Same goes for Nova Prospect. Maybe after that all of a sudden she looks completely different. Oh, I was about to say what's different, but that's the shirt. So yeah, you get the idea. Just install whatever you want to make it work. I'm just clicking random, uh, random things. Sure. And there we go. So I'm just going to show Half-Life 2 for now. Here you have the main characters, Barney, Eli, uh, Judith Mossman, the monk, you can even change him, Dr. Breen, Dr. Kleiner, Magnuson, and G-Man. Options are limited, but yeah, just go ahead, let's change everything. You can also change the civilians if you want. This is the base game, how they look, and this is the HD models. So yeah, they look a bit better. Alright, that took a bit longer. Lots of models, of course. And you can also change the combine. These are the standard original Valve models. And these are the HD models. So yeah, sure. Go ahead and install that as well. Alright, that's done. Now, if you think that's it, you're wrong. Uh, you can now close the character pimper because this is not needed anymore. All files are copied to your cinematic mod folder. Let me show you where to find them. All right, over here we are in the Steam Steam Apps Common CM2013 folder. After that, you go to your HL2 folder because we did Half Life 2, the base game. Go to Custom. CM loose files, models, and here they are. This is everything that has been installed, all the different models 
for all uh, characters. So what you want to do is copy everything that's in here except for the weapons folder uh, because the weapons that are changed in cinematic mode are kind of crappy. They are not very good and the weapons in M mod are awesome. So yeah, you got to use those of course. So over here we are in the source mods folder where you have the M mod uh, files. What you want to do is go to Half-Life 2 M mod. This is cinematic mod episode 1, episode 2. And this is cinematic mod Half-Life 2 base game. Well, not the base game, but Half-Life 2 mod with uh, Half-Life 2 with cinematic mod. Open that. Go to custom. As you can see, place your mods or additions here. So what I did, make a new folder. I will change the name to this one as well. CM loose files. There we go. And then you can copy the models folder. Simply copy it. All right, now that is done. Make sure you go back into that folder that you just copied. Make sure you are in the correct folder and delete the weapons directory. There we go. Now that's gone. Everything else has been copied. I'm not sure if you need uh, these other ones as well with props, but I, in my playthrough, I did that just to be safe. Didn't give me any issues, so better be safe than sorry. Also make sure you have enough hard drive uh, space available because cinematic mod alone is almost uh, 55 gigabytes. Uh, M mod is almost one gigabyte and all these extra uh, character changes. I think that was, if I saw correctly, what I just copied was 1.5 gigabytes or something. So yeah, you need, uh, you need the hard drive space. All right, now let's go ahead and see if it's working. So I'm gonna start up uh, Half-Life 2 with M mod and Cinematic mod enabled. And there we go. Showing up on this day in particular. Now besides the environment looking different, Alex also looks a bit different. Uh, not really my taste, but the city on foot. I just clicked some random things. Dangerous route to my father's lab. The old canals. And that's it, that's how you make it work. Today we're finally on the verge of having a better way. I'll just keep this rolling a little bit because Here. we are now Are going to enter Eli's lab. I mean Dr. Kleiner's lab, so you can see Dr. Kleiner and also Barney in a few seconds. Oh, and by the way, nice to finally meet you. Yeah. You too. Do something about your outfit. Alright, so here we are in Dr. Kleiner's lab, as you can see already. He's looking a bit different. Lamar, come out of there. Doesn't really look like a scientist, but rather like a banker. Well, uh, almost all right. Lamar has gotten out of her crate again. If I didn't know better, I'd suspect Barney of trapping and my goodness. I must also, for some reason, with the cinematic mod or M mod, I don't know which one does it, but the footsteps are a bit louder. For our resurrected teleport. I can't take any credit for the breakthrough, Doctor. Nonsense. Your talents surpass your loving. <laughs> Let's just see if this thing works, okay? Well, is he here? And there he is, Barney, there you are. looking quite different Man, as well. Gordon, you stirred up the hive. So yeah, as you can see, keep him here long, it's doctor. as simple as that. Don't worry, he's coming with me. I think we changed our outfit again after Eli's lab, didn't we? Let me just uh, start a new game and go to Eli's lab. Uh, what the hell is that? Is that Black Mesa East? Uh, I think so. Let me just load it up and I'll show you quick. Alright, here we are. Black Mesa East. I can also show you the weapons that are a bit different. As you can see, the animations are different. I like it. I like it a lot. Those are the M mod weapons, by the way.
everything is just a little bit different. Explosions are cool as well. As you can see, looks pretty awesome. Yeah, I'll make a jump okay, cut until we uh, see all the Hello? different characters like Take Eli easy, and yeah. safe now. Uh, Judith. That's over the there. We can't take any and Alex as well because we chose a different Gordon uniform Freeman. for her. Is that the Vortigaunt said you were here. And here we are. Believe you made it so quickly as you can see, foot. Eli looks a bit different. Record, honey. Alex yeah. has a new uniform he on. It. I guess you proved you can handle yourself out there. There's nothing Gordon can't handle, with the possible exception of you. Dad, please. Uh... Eli trying to hook us up. Yeah, that's Alex, how she looks now. Uh, Dr. Mossman is in here. Door's locked. Take He's a look at this, Gordon. gonna do whatever. I'll just wait for mm. Judith to come out and I'll show you her as well. And that's about it, I think. All right, here comes Judith. As Alex, you can see, she also looks quite different. Watch. The Vortigaunts relieved me so I could come see Gordon. Anyway, I should be in here working on the portal. I have the repairs well in hand. Someone misjudged the capacity. All right, well, I think that's it. clear to how this works. Me? No, not at all. It was a calculation error, not a mechanical problem. Okay, if we're going to listen to this, we'll be here forever. So yeah, that's uh, that's it for this little guide. Hopefully it was of help. Uh, let me quit the game. Let me show you Steam real quick. Because if you have copied those folders for the mod correctly, you also have uh, these in your Steam library. As you can see, you mod where it works with different mods. This is including cinematic mod. Half-Life 2, Half-Life 2 Episode 1 and Episode 2. Over here, only M mod without cinematic mod for Half-Life 2, Episode 1, Episode 2. M mod with Lost Coast and M mod with uh, Minerva Metastasis. That's a different mod for Half-Life 2. So yeah, you should have these folders or these games in your Steam library. And that's about it. Steam Cloud out of date. Yeah, I always have that with Half-Life 2 for some reason. That was even before I installed the mods. Alright, well, uh, like I said, I hope this was of help for you. Yeah, if you have any questions remaining, please make sure to ask them in the comments down below. And I will try to answer them as, as good as I can and as fast as I can. So yeah, that's it guys. Make sure to give a thumbs up if this was of help. Subscribe for more. And... Until the next one, bye.